Here we have the one-to-one -one log properties of logarithmic functions. It's very simple, similar, not simple, simple, similar to exponentials. And what it says, if I have the log of something equals the log of the same base of something, well, then my arguments are the same. Then I can say x equals 6. So if I have log to the base 2 of x equals log to the base 2 of 6, well, that means x is 6. And we can take the logarithm of both sides. So if I have e to the y equals 2, I can take the logarithm of both sides to help solve that. Let's do that to a few problems. Here I have the log to the base 4 of x equals log to the base 4 of 3 plus the log to the base 4 of x minus 2. Now we know the log of a sum is the product of the logs. So we can say here that the log of base 4 of x a little thin, I want to make that a little bit thicker, equals the log to the base 4 of 3 times x minus 2. Notice my logs are the same, so my arguments have to be equal. So I can say then x equals 3x minus 2, and I can solve that equation. So x equals 3 times x minus 2. Now we do the algebra to solve for x. So then we get x equals 3x minus 6. So I'll subtract 3x from both sides, so I get negative 2x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 2, and x equals 3. And there's our solution for a problem like that. Okay, let's take a look at another one, very similar. I've got log to the base 3, equals x squared plus 3. Or log to the base 3 of x squared plus 3 equals log to the base 3 of 52. Notice I've got the logs, same logs on both sides. So in other words, x squared plus 3 must equal 52. So x squared plus 3 equals 52. We'll subtract 3 from both sides. x squared equals 49. Take the square root of both sides, x equals positive or negative 7. And we've got to be careful that we don't put something that doesn't work, but in this case it does, because if I take a negative 7 and square, that make, makes it positive. So I'm, I'm not violating any rules here. 